Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's topic, we're going to be taking a look at the best website builders for a small business. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So this video is more or less just a step by step guide on the different website builders that we're going to be looking through. Now, of course, each of these are going to have its own advantages, disadvantages. So that's primarily your choice as to whether it's going to benefit you or the business. Uh, it's completely just a rundown and a base foundation just to get you started on some of the different website builders. Now, of course, I would highly recommend to not just stick with one. Uh, make sure you trial them all out. They've all got their own trials. Um, it'll be a lot easier and pretty much gives you a better idea uh, as to what sort of features you need or requirements you need in order to have a successful small business. Just to get a understanding on what a website builder is or a CMS. So a website builder or content management system is pretty much just a software application and it allows users to create and manage digital content. Could be, it's typically four websites. So you don't really need to know any specialized technical knowledge. Um, that means no coding. So website builders provide users with pre-built templates. They've got drag and drop editors, uh, which is applied to some website builders and other design tools to create websites quickly and easy. And as I said, often with no coding required. Now CMS allows users to create, edit and publish digital content, such as web pages. You've also got blog posts and images through a graphical interface. Now both website builders and CMS enable non-technical users to create and manage digital content, but of course they differ in their approach and functionality. I would say website builders are typically designed to simplify the web uh, website creation process and it's more to offer the user a friendly experience uh, of course, you don't want to be creating a website and you know, you'll know you have to pay for your, some of the expenses like a web developer, then a UI UX designer. Of course, there's a lot of things to consider when you are creating a website from scratch, especially if you don't have the technical knowledge and skills to create one. So this would be the option for you. So now that we've pretty much got a feel and touch for what we're going to be going through in terms of the topic for the best website builders for a small business. We're going to go ahead and start off with our very first website builder and our first one being Wix. Now Wix is a drag and drop website builder and it allows users to create a website as I said without knowing any coding knowledge. Uh, however, it does have its CSS implementation and HTML implementation if you wanted to add some code in. Now, there's a wide range of templates to choose from with easy customization options. Um, they've got e-commerce capabilities as well, so it allows you to set up an online store. It's got great customer support, including phone and email support. So. Just so you guys have an idea, we'll go ahead and take a look at one of the templates here. Uh, they have a range of different templates. Now I would say that Wix is up there in terms of how many templates they have. Now you can see there they've got business, health and wellness, beauty and hair, fashion and style. List goes on, even from store, creative, community and blog. Uh, on top of that as well, if you can't find a template that you'd like, uh, you don't really have to worry about that as there is an area there for blank templates now, if you choose on that one as you can see they've got a range of different templates there so one page you've got overlapping layout quite a couple of options as you can see uh, so once you are happy enough to pick out the template you've found something you're happy enough to go with it what you can do first is to actually view the template before editing it. First you want to 
have a look and see what it will look like. So that's how the website looks like. So say you're happy enough with it. Looks good. On the top left or top right is edit site. Just simply click on that. Takes a little minute or two just for it to completely load up. So once everything is loaded up, you'll actually get a little uh, overview on what the parts of Wix is. Uh, there's add elements, add section, pages and menu, site design, all the way down to content manager. So once you've clicked off that and you zoom in, uh, this is how it looks. Now you've got your tools there, toolbar, layers, rulers, grid lines, snap to objects. And this is the magic that happens when using a website builder. Now, you would tend to have to code this um, via CSS, but if you just select on the text there, uh, you can see that my icon from the cursor has changed. And as you can see, it's now become a movable part. So if I drop that off here, I can go ahead and do that. If I dropped it from here, I can go ahead and do that. But of course you do have a warning that you have dragged an element outside of the grid lines so some visitors won't see it. If you need it to revert it back, on the top left there you've got the undo button. And you can revert it all the way back to where it was before. Now if we scroll down, you can see that it's a pre-built website. Everything's all there and it looks fairly well for what it is. And you have your left side there for all the elements to, to put in, like images, text, buttons, list. You can embed code, as I mentioned, so HTML, or the CSS, so that's a custom element. So quite a lot of things to tinker with when using Wix Website Builder. So that would be one for the books to consider. When you are thinking of starting a small business online, I would go ahead and opt out for Wix. Anyway, we'll go ahead and move on to our next website builder. Up next is Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is a website builder known for its beautiful and professional templates, and it has the features included. So it has a wide range of templates to choose from, uh, with easy customization, so just like Wix, so a user-friendly drag and drop interface. It's got a built-in SEO capabilities. It's got e-commerce capabilities and it allows users to set up on an online store. So quite a few features to use. Uh, but I would say that Squarespace can be more expensive compared to the other website builders and users may experience limited design options as well. It is also primarily designed for creating visually stunning websites and may not be suitable for all types of websites. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll jump into that and we'll uh, judge that for ourselves. So select the templates there and you'll probably get another pop-up after this. So as you can see, fairly similar for, from Wix itself. Uh, there's an online store, you've got portfolio, all templates, memberships, art and design, blog. So this is just a filter category. On top of that as well, you have your own section to build your own template if you don't fancy any of the templates there. So quite a couple of options as you can see. Uh, from Nolan, you've got Almer, uh, Unica, and there's another area there to build your own template as well. And on the top right, you can filter out more designs if you wanted to. So technically at the minute we are filter, well, we are filtering by popular designs. So a couple more options there. So we'll stop there. Um, so say I wanted to go for this uh, particular design. I can go ahead and preview that first. So preview Carmine. And as you can see, this is us previewing it. If we're happy enough, we can go and select and opt for it. Uh, what Wix doesn't have, that Squarespace does have, is the fact that there is a desktop version, a tablet version, which it doesn't have, and the mobile version. 
so we can optimize between all three. Now, if you're happy enough to select for this, just click on the start with this design. And it takes a wee minute or two just to get it loaded up fully. So it'll give you a, a guide again, just like Wix on the site. So things that you may want to sell. Uh, of course, uh, that's the, Squares, uh, the Squarespace title. Um, edit pages, create pages, and so on. And you can get your uh, site started there. So everything is pretty much here on the dashboard. This is the dashboard itself. So we have a preview of what the website looks like. We've got on the left side how the just the general dashboard of the site where we have pages, we've got design, we've got commerce, marketing, scheduling, asset library, analytics, profile settings, and so on. So quite a couple of different options there. Now with design, if we select on that, as you can see, this is more to do with how the website's gonna look outside. So that could be the browser icon, which is the favicon, uh, you've got your lock screen, um, you've got checkout page, 404 page, access denied screen, social sharing. Now, if you have a bit of knowledge or uh, some fair amount of knowledge on CSS, then fire away and have a go with the custom CSS. Uh, on there, you've got marketing, scheduling. Wix has those little features as well. Um, you've got design and pages. And pages is just basically to add more pages in. Uh, you can link these pages as well if you wanted to uh, do the general SEO stuff. Uh, we've actually, I'm not going to focus too much on SEO with this, th this video as we have covered a bit of SEO within the different website builders. So uh, if you can, please go ahead and check them out. And as you can see, a couple of different options there. Uh, but what we want to do is we actually want to see how we actually uh, edit the website. So on the top left there, select edit. And now we are able to move about and change things around. So on the top left there, this is practically what our ad elements is compared to Wix. So if you select that, uh, you've got a couple of different options there like text, image, button, video, form, audio, and so on, all the way down to open table. Uh, the, but that would be included on the premium plan, so you have to pay for that. Uh, anyway, uh, if we have a look at what I passed there, which is code, you do have the option to do some coding. So if I was to have it as HTML, I can. I can have it as JavaScript if I wanted to, or I can have it as CSS. So a couple of different options to display. Now, say I have that bit of um, element on the section, and I wanted to move it to the bottom right. What I'll do is I'll actually exit off. All I need to do is click, grab, and drag. And now it's went from the top left to the bottom right. I also have the option to align uh, if it's vertical um, from center, the bottom, or the top. I can also add it again, as uh, I've mentioned before. Or if I wanted to, I could just simply hit delete. So that's just a quick overview on what Squarespace is. Uh, now, of course, feel free to check out the pricing plans. It will vary. Uh, I don't really want to touch up too much on the pricing plan for this video, uh, but you do get the odd promotionals sometimes. So uh, I would go ahead and check out the different website builders to see which would offer the best discount. Now the next website builder there is called Shopify. Now this is another great website builder to use. Now there's quite a couple of uh, trial runs that you can go through there. There's a place here which I'll show you now, uh, which is called the Shopify Themes. Now Shopify is a pretty popular e-commerce website builder that's designed to make it easy for users to set up an online store. And it has features included like a wide range of e-commerce templates to choose from, a user-friendly drag and drop interface, payment processing and, uh, capabilities, like making it easy to set up payments and manage transactions, and it also has built-in SEO capabilities. 
So we're just taking a quick glance through uh, themes itself. Now, there are quite a lot of different themes to choose from. And on the left side there, it even prices out uh, the price, the industry. You've got catalog size, the features as well. Uh, just a bunch of different areas there. Uh, you've got the different themes to choose from. Now you can uh, list it out which one you want to look through, which is either the paid for or the free, as you can see. And just like the ones that we've seen, which is uh, Wix and Squarespace, we have the capability to try that theme or just view a demo store. So if we view the demo store, uh, that's how it looks. We have a mobile version as well. And of course, if you are happy to pick it, then you can try that theme or you can pay for that theme. Uh, but, but by the looks of things, this is a free one. And of course, you can see who has used it, what sort of rev reviews it's gotten. And of course, uh, no one's reviewed this, so it must be a brand new one. So yeah, that's pretty much just a look over on Shopify. But guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. Of course, there are plenty more website builders out there, like GoDaddy, you've got WordPress, Zyro, um, Weebly, uh, Jimdo. There's multiple ones out there to choose from. Of course, I can keep going on and showing you the different website builders out there. But I would recommend to try them out, uh, see what which ones would be the best suited for your business, and overall just estimate and take a look at uh, what you would need in order to complete a website like your logos uh, the branding things like that uh, but yes anyways if you guys have any questions at all regarding the video please do let us know in the comment section below but other than that I'll see you guys for the next video thank you very much for watching